Hello, this is Games Are Things, and welcome to my video on how to get all the Hunter's Tools in Bloodborne for the Hunter's Craft Trophy. For the old Hunter Bone, you'll first need to kill Bloodstock Beast to open up the door on Cathedral Wharf. You'll then go up the elevator, and at the tower, drop down to the lower floor. And on that first um, bridge of scaffolding, you will need to turn around and fall off to the right. If you do it in the right area, you'll be able to go through the double doors and find the abandoned workshop. It has the same layout as the Hunter's Dream, and the bone is on the gravestone where the DLC can be accessed next to the Insight Shop. In the Forbidden Woods, you want to head straight past all the enemies, then turn left. You will come to the entrance of a small village, head left up the cliffside, and at the very back in the house, you will find Easter. It functions very similarly to Horse from Dark Souls. Empty Phantasm is in a chest at the very top of Birkenworth, next to the Frenzy Fly. Enjoy the very high skill gameplay you're about to see. For the tiny Tauntress, you will need to get to your horrible unseen village after killing them. Go past the two bell maidens and up the stairs. On the right will be a break in the railing, fall through that, and you keep falling through to make your way into a square room. The tiny Tauntress is in the chest. You will need to kill the One Reborn to access the Nightmare Lecture building. Once there, go down to the first floor and then turn into the left door. This will be a large auditorium and in the middle will be the Lecture Theater key. Pick that up and then return to the main hallway on the first floor and for the door in the middle on the right side, the key will open it up into a second auditorium full of these slug scholars. Go to the right end and open up that door, and then the chest will be Augur of Epriatus. Messenger's Gift is in the Nightmare Frontier, which can be accessed by being grabbed by the Amygdala outside Cathedral Ward or going through the Lecture Building. Just make your way through past the first two silver werewolves and then drop down into the ravine with the poison pool below. Keep making your way all the way back to the cave. You will come across a large group of the Lovecraftian crystal lizard things. And then behind them, you'll find yourself a winter lantern. And behind her is the messenger's gate.
In order to get a call beyond, you'll need to get the upper cathedral key. It is actually in the same room with the tiny tonkerses, it's just in that cage that's locked from the inside, so follow the same route, but just drop down to the cage instead. Just break through the window after Celestial Emissary and pick up the call beyond on the right. Get on the broken elevator on the right side and jump halfway off. You'll need to make your way across a bridge with a bunch of winter lanterns. Once there, you'll enter a room full of spiders, go past them and drop down. Across the wooden beam is a chest with choir bell, guarded by another winter lantern. You will need to get to Kanehurst for the Executioner's Gloves. Go through all the enemies and turn left till you come to a small village. Go left up the cliffside until you come to the dog cages and turn left again to descend the ladder into a poisonous cave. Hug the right wall until you come to another ladder and ascend that all the way into Arnhem. You will go by a brain sucker up onto a roof and then you will turn, go through a window, turn right, and there you will find a Celestial Emissary with the Kanehurst Summons. Take the Kanehurst summons to the obelisk in Hemwick Charnel Lane, and you'll be transported to Kanehurst. You will need to go to the Kanehurst Library, go all the way up the stairs and find the broken window and drop down. Go to the first door you come across and on the right you will find a chest with the Executioner's Glove. This is the last hunter's tool in Bloodborne. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the part where I beg you to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, but whether you do that or not, I hope you have a good one.